Hi there, we're going to look at two functions in this video. Uh, one's called substitute and the other's called replace, and they do very similar things with subtle differences. Uh, so, first of all, we'll look at the substitute uh, function, and I want to just look at it within the context of a kind of VLOOKUP scenario. So, what we've got is we've got our products that are being ordered here. And we've got our master list over here of products. Now, the VLOOKUP is not going to work very well because we've got hyphens in this version of our list, whereas we haven't got it over here. So before we perform the VLOOKUP, we need to strip these values of the hyphens. So substitute is ideal for that. Basically, substitute the substitute function, you can define some content that you want to replace, and then it will replace in each instance of that content uh, in that text string. So anyway, let's just have a look at how this is going to work. So there's my substitute function. So it's got one, two, three, four um, arguments. First argument is text. So it's basically, you know, what is the text that you want to replace or substitute characters in? So in our example, that's D2, comma. Then it says old text. So we want to, old text is the, the text or the characters you actually want to replace. So in our example, that is a hyphen. Now, I put it in double quotation marks. As with all formulas and all text, you always do that. Um, double quotation marks around the characters that you want to replace. Then it's new text. So what do you want to replace old text characters with? So we want to replace it with a space. So again, it's a space in double quotation marks. Now, the last argument I'm not actually going to use in this example, it's called instance number. If you leave it blank, it will replace all instances of the hyphen with a space. But for example, if I put in, we'll do this later, but if I put in two in there, it would only replace the second instance of the hyphen with a space. It would leave the first as it is. So press return. So if I copy that down, that would work fine uh, for my example. So I might use this. Uh, a little formula here in a kind of VLOOKUP scenario. In order to do that, I think I'll name this table. That's what we normally do with the VLOOKUP. So I just selected that table using Control A and let's call this products. So um, I'm just going to cut that substitute function out of there. I don't need the equal sign, so just cut that out. And I'm starting a VLOOKUP. So lookup value, well the lookup value is um, the result of my search function, which looks at D2 and removes the hyphens, comma, in the table array, well that's the name I gave this table, which is products, I'm pressing F3 on my keyboard to bring up the names of my workbook, so that we are, that's products, comma, returning the values in column 2, because I want to return the correct price, looking up this product code, returning the price, so that's two, and because I'm doing an exact match, that would be false. Close the brackets, press return, and there we are. I get the correct prices for each of my product codes. Okay, so that seems fairly simple. So uh, let's look at some other examples of substitute. Maybe I want to remove the prefix BPC on each of these product codes. So how would I do that? Well, let's have a look. Uh, let's go for substitute. So uh, this is the text that I'm substituting. And I'm looking for, um, in quotation marks, BPC, comma, uh, new text. Well, it's a zero uh, empty character string. So two quotation marks with nothing in between. Basically, I'm wanting to delete the BPC. In fact, it will be BPC dash, won't it? Or BPC hyphen, hyphen, otherwise I'd have a hyphen as the first character. So um, that should do it. Press return. And there we are. That's deleted the BPC part of it. Right, one more example with um, the, uh, just to leave the answers there, that you could use with substitute. And uh, that's where you wanted to find out the number of words in a cell. Uh, I mean, it's not recommended, but maybe you put the number of sales made or the number of products bought in one cell rather than separate cells. Um, so how would I count the number of words in that um, 
in that string there. Well, I can use a mixture of things really. Um, let's just start off with something called len, which basically returns the number of characters in a text string. So if I press return, it returns 19 characters. Now, if I could somehow um, work out the number of characters in this string if um, I've got rid of the spaces, so all of the characters except for spaces, that would then tell me, if I subtracted those two values from each other, that would tell me the number of spaces in that string. And the spaces basically indicate the number of words, don't they? So I need the total number of characters minus the total number of characters except for spaces. Now how do I work out the total number of characters except for spaces? Well, let's say equals len again. Now what I can do is I could say substitute in this text here old text so that's going to be um, the, the space with an empty um, an empty string so nothing so I'm just replacing the space with um, nothing. Um, close that and let's see what that gives us as an answer. I think I need to uh, parenthesis there. So that tells you that there are two spaces between these um, three words. So it's not quite there because it, I want the number of words not the number of spaces but if you think about it if there's four words, there's going to be three spaces. If there's six words, there's going to be five spaces. So if I just added one at the end, that's always going to give me the right answer. If I copy that down, you'll see, in fact, that is true. OK, so I've used um, the len function and the substitute function there together to give me that answer. OK, so that's substitute. Let's look at replace, see what we can do with that. So um, first of all, let's do initial and last name later on. Let's say I just want last name. The replace function works slightly different from the substitute function because what it allows you to do is it allows you to specify a position, position of the character that you want to replace and also the number of characters you want to replace, which gives you slightly more flexibility. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to now uh, basically get rid of the first name. So let's see how the replace function will work in that context. So you can see it's got one, two, three, four arguments. Old text, so this is our old text. Start number, so where do we want to start replacing? Well, if we're deleting the first name, we'll start in position one. But then it says the number of characters so how do we know the number of characters in the first name? Because we need to specify how many characters we we're actually going to replace with basically an empty, uh, empty string. Well, if we search for the position of the space, that would give us the correct number of characters because we want to delete the first name of the space, really. So if I did a search again, so I want to find text a space. So I'm using the search function here. To find a space within text, this. Okay, very simple little function there. Search for a space within a particular cell, and it will return the position of that um, space. And then, once I've found the position of the space, what it's asking then for um, the new text. Well, I want to replace it with an empty character string, so again, double quotation marks. Press return, and I'll just get Jones. Copy that down, you can see that works. So just to go over that again. So we're replacing A2, starting from the first character, with the result of the search function, which will return the position of the space, which in this one will be 5. OK, so we'll replace the first five characters with an empty character string. Now, if I wanted initial and last name, what would I have to do? So let's delete these. 
So I would start with replace again. So this is my old text. Now I am looking to start with character 1. Start with 1. And I want to replace the first name with the initial. So again, I've got to use my search function to search the number of characters to um, replace. So that will be search for a space, find text, within text, which is that, close brackets. Now, if you think about it, I still want that space between the first name and the last name. So actually, I just want to delete the actual first name, not the space. So if I subtract 1, it means it will only go up to the T in this example and not include the space. So, comma, now it's asking for the new text. Well, the new text is going to be different for each name. It's, it's in fact the first letter of the first name. So now you've got a left function which will extract the first character of a particular string. So left, this here, and well, it could be the first character, could be the first three characters, but I just want the first character in this example. So left, extract from A2 the first character. Okay, so then if I close the bracket there, press return, and then we have B Jones, copy that down get the same for the other examples as well. Okay, so that's the substitute and replace function. There's loads of different applications for, for them. I've just chosen kind of several scenarios randomly really.